experiments this week. The first one is Spoonbell, or one of them is Spoonbell, and this one's really simple. Here we're going to be talking about um, we're going to be talking about vibrations and sound waves. So here is a spoon, and then we have this string. Do you see that? And so you'll tie this the string around the spoon. And um, if you're the if you're not the first class, hold on, let me shut my door. If you're not the first class, it might already be done for you. Oh, a little loud out there where the children play. So um, you're gonna take the spoon and the string and wrap it around your fingers towards the end and then put the string in your ears like this. Oops, that's not long enough, hold on. And then put the, st the, st the string around your finger and then put your fingers in your ears and then tap the spoon against the table. Oh my gosh, you guys, I wish you could hear what this sounds like because it sounds really amazing. It's like a gong. Um, and the harder you tap, the louder the gong sound is and the softer you tap, the um, softer the sound is. Um, it's a great experiment. I think most of our kids can do it. If um, you need to, you can take one of the other spoons and have a parent helper if the student is having a hard time tapping against the wall or the table. Um, as they're doing this, you can have someone else kind of tap it like this. It is a little more difficult that way to control the sound being um, loud versus soft. We remember that happened in our tutor meeting. I kept tapping it and it sounded the same. But, uh, and you don't want somebody to wax somebody else in the face. So make sure somebody's doing, if you're having a, a helper that it's a parent or definitely older students that you trust. But other than that, the table or the wall should work out well. And um, so here we're talking about vibrations and sound waves. <clears throat> and if we can control striking, if can we control if striking an object makes a sound loud or soft? Um, so there's that one. And you can see on your science sheets that um, when things vibrate, they create sound waves and a larger vibration creates more energy producing a larger sound wave and a louder sound. And certainly your Van Cleves is the place to make sure you bring that book with you each week and that way you can read to them the why section out of that. Um, and use the opportunity to um, ask them how else they see uh, this effect in, in their own life, if they see that in other areas as well draw out some questions. Okay, humming glass. Sorry, I'm doing this quickly. I have a phone call soon. And I wanted to get this done early enough for you guys who want to prep. I am so excited we are going back to CC this week. I know that's crazy, right? Because you would think that, um, and maybe you guys yourself are even like, oh, seriously, so soon? But it'll be great. We'll get started out of the gate really strong. Actually, I'm probably the only mom who has made their kids do school so far every day this week, including Monday, New Year's Day. I know, crazy, right? But we have taken a lot of vacation. So we are back at it already. Um, and I'm looking forward to uh, Friday. And I really thank you guys for investing the time this week to prepare for Friday. Hopefully this will be um, an easier week. Uh, before I move on to um, Humming Glass, I just want to remind you, just a housekeeping note, to definitely take time at the beginning of your day and go over your expectations and your rules again. If you have um, some things you'd like to shift going into the second semester, it's a great time to shift expectations and definitely to reset expectations. And um, even before each segment, especially presentations, science and fine art as you're talking about how to use materials, how you want their eyes on you, whatever um, those are, and also with your parents. What are the expectations that you have for your parents? Do you have jobs for them? Because that limits talking, I know for sure. And, um, 
and just be letting them know the ways that they can help you. Can they clean up afterwards? Who's taking out the trash? All those logistics to think through and it's a good time to reset expectations. Okay, on the humming glass. Now I have, um, I have a sore on my finger. I poked it when I was cleaning and it is, um, it's gonna be painful when I stick my finger in the vinegar. So this is a labor of love right here, but if you have students who have any sort of um, even uh, sensitive skin on their finger, the vinegar could hurt them or it could be uncomfortable for them. So just know that you can just send them into the bathroom to wash their hands and they can observe this experiment rather than uh, perform it. This also is one of those experiments that would be really great as a show and then go. So you demonstrate it as the tutor and then let the students with the help of the parents um, try and practice this on their own. Uh, all right, so before you come into class, everybody should wash their hands. And um, then you will go ahead and place the glass on the table. And there will be vinegar in these bowls. So I have these little, let me show you, these little cups. They're just, I don't know, two ounce cups. And I have a bottle here that says vinegar. And so there'll be, this will be full of vinegar. And you pour some into the cup and dip their finger into it. They don't need to get their whole finger wet, they can, but if you're really just looking for the pad of your finger. Then holding down, oh, here's my cup. It will work with champlain flutes or if you're on a different campus, pretty much any long stemmed glass. The thinner the glass, the better, but you can see this isn't particularly thin glass. There you go. Okay, ow, my finger is hurting. Okay, then you'll take it and just rub the rim of the glass. So how you're, you want the pressure to be firm Oh my gosh, seriously, people, my finger is killing me. Ow! Uh, you want the pressure to be firm and yet smooth, firm and smooth. If they're, if they're skipping along the edge, if they're kind of skipping along the edge, it really, I don't think you'll get the sound. Um, if you can do it well and another student can't, if you get them started, then with the glass already vibrating, it will be easier for them to come along behind you and, and start over. It's a little harder to do on my knee. So the other important thing to note is if you hold it by the stem, I'm gonna show you. It's not vibrating. If you hold it even down here, like this, by the bottom of the stem, it's not gonna vibrate. You've got to hold it by the base, like, like this. Does that make sense? Can you see that? Okay. So holding it by the base, and there you go. So if your hands, actually I didn't even wash my hands before I did this. I didn't wash my hands and I didn't wash the glass. I just bought these at the dollar store for 25 cents. There, my dollar store is moving <laughs> and I didn't want them breaking my fancy stemware. Although these are sure pretty, aren't they? Um, but these ones are pretty easy, so we shouldn't have any problem. My cat is, is back there and she is very annoyed with the sound. All right, so there you go. I think, I think that's it. So if they have an ouchie on their finger, the vinegar is gonna sting. Uh, just let them know that and they can go wash their hands. Um, things to talk about, vibration, sound, friction, resonance, all of those are really great things. I'm gonna follow up uh, this week with an email to all the families uh, with the resonance plates that have the sand on top of it and the sound going through it and you can see the pattern. Totally amazing. If uh, I might even try and put the link in the um, description below because if you've never seen this happen, it's pretty incredible. And the symmetry that the sound waves produce is just complete testimony to our creator. Uh, so it's a great week to just talk about, talk about that if you feel comfortable. Otherwise, stick with what's in the Van Cleves. It is all good. All right, you guys, have a blessed week. I thank you for your preparation. May God just 
bless your hands and your time and your mind this week as we approach Friday, and I will see you soon. Bye.